It's quite common that when you're working with reports that have multiple pages in them, that you'll want to apply filters across all of those different pages. Now you could do that through the filter pane um, using these report level filters, or you might want to choose to uh, use a slicer. Uh, and a slicer is a great way in that it shows the selections on the canvas. Um, but you can synchronize slicers across multiple pages and have those filters, the same filters, apply across multiple pages. So um, for example, if I take this, this date range slicer that I have here, um, if I want to apply that to some of the other tabs, the other pages in my report, what I can do is just copy that slicer, so I'm going to press Control-C, uh, go to the page that I want to add it to, and now when I hit Control-V and paste that slicer onto this page, it'll ask me if, it wants, if, if I want to synchronize those two slicers. What it means is that any selections I make in one of these slicers will automatically get applied to the other ones. So I hit sync, and you'll see the slicer gets created with that selection already chosen. So if I was to change this and say, let's look back from uh, 2015 through to 2016, now when I go back to my original tab, the same date range has been selected. So if I make this a little smaller, so let's just focus on uh, 62 to 35. When I come to my other page, the same selection has been applied. So that's a date range filter. I could do the same thing for these uh, manufacturers, for these, um, uh, uh, these list filters, or for drop downs, any different filter. I can actually then set uh, the type of the filter to be different across different pages, even though um, uh, you know, it, it's based on the same field, so the same selections will be applied. I can view um, all of the slices that have been synchronized by coming to my ribbon and looking for this Sync Slices tab. And when I open this up, you'll see that currently the, uh, the dates, uh, date slicer that's been selected has been synchronized from the 2016 performance page, which is the current one that we're looking at. It's being synchronized across to the performance page, uh, but not to the manufacturer's detail page yet. The second column here shows visibility of this slicer. So it's showing that it's currently visible on both pages. So I come back to my performance page, I can see it here as well. What I can choose to do though is, is uh, hide these slices as well. So I can change the visibility as to whether those slices uh, appear on the page, but the filter is still being applied. And that's really useful for another scenario. Let's take um, uh, uh, these, these two uh, list slices here. And I want to apply those um, same filters to the other pages, but I don't necessarily want to show those slices on the other pages. So this is really common where maybe my first tab, my first page, just has a whole set of slices that I'm going to choose. So a user would come in and say, well, I'm interested in this region, this, this manufacturer, this date range. And then those slices can apply to all of the other pages in the report, even if they don't necessarily appear there. So let's do that now. Let's take our manufacturer slicer. I want to say um, sync that across to our performance and manufacturer details page. But you'll see I didn't check the visibility option. I'll do the same thing for our segment. So now the selections in these slices are going to be applied in each place, um, but not, um, uh, not visible on those other pages. Make sure it's synchronized across all of the pages here. So if I go and choose, let's choose the Aliki manufacturer, and I'll choose our extreme segment. So we're looking at a fairly minimal set of data here. Now when I go across to the other pages, I'll see I'm only looking at Aliki. I'm only seeing Aliki in this chart. That same filter has been applied here, even though I don't see those slices. The same across on this one. I'm looking just at a leaky, and I'm looking at just that extreme segment. So this is a really useful way of being able to apply filters across multiple different pages using slicers that may or may not appear on those pages, uh, may or may not be visible to people who are viewing that report.